exact. What happened to Sensei Reed, a 13-year-old black boy shot and killed by a white man who is now free? Months later, we still don't know why Sensei was shot or why he is alleged killer is free. This case don't make no sense. I show you, we already saw this. We went on over this. Um, so apparently a mother says that her, her son were in the house. She was in the kitchen talking. He came out of his room, spoke with her about something, went back in his room, came back out, spoke with her some more. She thought he went back into his room, but instead she didn't know he went outside. She Next thing out she, the door. Yeah, he went out the door. Next thing she knows, someone runs into the house and tell her that her son has been shot. She goes outside. He's laying on the ground with a gunshot wound. And they tell her that some white dude who they knew, her, they knew the guy's name. They knew Craig. him. Craig. They kept saying his name Craig. So obviously the neighborhood knew him saying Craig shot him. So apparently this man hopped out his car for whatever reason we don't know. And shot this 13-year-old boy, was it six times? I think, but didn't they say that the, the, the Craig dude said he had a weapon? Yeah, they said he had a weapon, even though there was no weapon there. No one saw no gun. He, so he just hopped out the car and shot him and then got in his car and left. I, somebody on the scene said he came, after he back shot him and me. left, he came back and shot him some more. I said, hold on, that's just, you know, every time somebody died, you know, no offense for black people like to add stuff on. They like to embezzle. Make the story more, um, they like to decorate it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> he said, October 12th, 13-year-old Sensei Reed was allegedly shot and killed by 36-year-old Craig A. Butler Sr. in Columbus, Ohio, according to the Columbia Dispatch. The Franklin County Prosecutor officially, I mean, office initially charged Butler with murder, but a week later, October 19th, prosecutors filed to dismiss the case in municipal court. More than two months later, Sensei's family only knows one detail regarding why Butler is walking free today. So he says self defense and they actually let him out. <sighs> a 13. <laughs> this is a weird story. This case don't make sense. Um, it's just, it's, it's just weird. Yeah. I it, would think that they would be doing marching and protesting and all this stuff there. It's not even that. You would think that there's no way he's getting out shooting a 13 year old. That's, that's how. There has, it's, there has been a claim of self defense. Columbus Police Homicide Detective Keith O'Connor. Said back in October, O'Connor said a claim was made by Butler and his mother, but declined to comment further. So Butler was with his mom in the car. <laughs> so a 13-year-old walked out the house, had a gun on him, and just tried to rob you and brought... What, what did he try to do to you? For you to just hop out the car and shoot him? And then you didn't shoot him while you were in the car. So was he a neighbor? It's hard to analyze a story when you're giving vague details. Oh Yeah. So he said, now here's what Megan said happened. Megan Reed, this is his mother. Megan Reed told the North Carolina Beat. North Carolina Beat, by the way, is the same uh, website that push, put out the Shaquilla Robinson story of the woman in Mexico who was beaten to death by her friends, apparently. Even though I don't even think nobody has been arrested in that case officially. But uh, that on Wednesday, October 12, 2022, her son, 13 year old Sensei Reed, said he wasn't feeling well. Megan said she told her son that it was probably because of the air he sleeps under with a fan in his bedroom window. She says since they returned to his room and later came back out while she was cooking, had a conversation. After since they and his mother, Megan finished talking, he left the kitchen and returned to his room. Megan said the next thing she knew, someone was, came banging on the door. She said a neighbor told her that since they had been shot. Megan said she didn't know that her son even had even gone outside because he was just in the kitchen having a conversation before he went back in his room. I didn't even know he went outside until he knocked at my door telling me he had been shot. When Megan got there, she got to where her son was lying with gunshot wounds. She said witnesses started telling her that 36-year-old Craig A. Butler Sr. was responsible. As soon as I got over there, everybody was like, Craig did it, Craig did it, Craig did it. According to Megan, witnesses told her that Craig allegedly shot since day and then came back around and reshot him multiple times. Megan sent Butler fled the scene, but was later captured and arrested at his house the next day. She also said Butler reportedly claimed that her son had a gun but she didn't see a weapon when she went to the scene and no witnesses saw a gun either. Now that is a weird wording saying you didn't see a gun versus that versus saying my son don't have a gun. That's kind of a weird thing. I didn't see no gun. No, do your son ever have a gun? Like you should have been like my son, he's 13. He don't got no damn gun. A uh, lot of details missing out of the story. I'm going to hold my, uh, wait until 
more information. More information come out. The, the dispatch confirmed that according to the uh, court record, the eyewitness who knows Butler told police they saw him next exit a red truck, shoot Sensei multiple times, get back into his truck and drive off, which makes it all more perplexing that Butler is free with no charges. Hmm. Then what the final point they made was not every case initiated in municipal court is presented to a grand jury. The press uh, release said, according to the dispatch, this particular case is still under review for possible presentation to the grand jury. And unfortunately, I cannot advise you when a case will be presented to the grand jury. Months later, we still don't know why since they were shot, why his alleged killer was free, but what the hell happens here? There's a lot of stuff missing from this case. A lot of stuff. Move on. <laughs> Just move. Oh, you're, you're scared you're going to say something? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the their, uh, their judge there that made the decision according to them but I don't think he's the one who made the final decision. This is the person everybody going at on social media. 